big idea for today is YouTube. The video social network. So founded in like 2005 or so. YouTube is more than a decade old. The very first YouTube video was one shot here in the San Diego Zoo. Some kids looking at the elephants or something and they uploaded it. It was the first YouTube video. It's still around there. Uh, no, it doesn't have like 10 billion views, even though it's the first one. Um, but it's a, it's a social network because it has the same sort of features as the other networks. You upload stuff, you comment, you follow, you like, you share, etc. It's like all the other networks, but it's very focused then on visual, on video. Uh, the other networks, you can add text, you can add audio, you can add video, you can add links. The big focus on this one, of course, the main <coughs> content is video. You can't upload, you know, you can't upload to YouTube your PowerPoint. Uh, you can't upload, you know, a text message or a video or a link. It has to be video. Now, to it, to the video, you can add text and links and hashtags and stuff. But the main thing you upload is a video. And then you would engage in many of the same tactics we talked about for the other networks to get views and likes and followers. So this is going to be a two-part class, probably three-part, uh, where we have to cover uh, step zero, um, making videos. You can't do very much on YouTube without a video. So we'll have a lesson today where we talk about making videos. Then next time, we'll create the YouTube account. We'll have a video to upload and to use. And then we'll talk about using YouTube. So the main content is video. Today's lesson, how to make videos. Now that itself has several facets. We're going to just start very directly today in terms of, I have a video for you. And I'm going to show you the video editor because making a video is two big things. The idea and execution of the video and to the editing of the video. So in real life, uh, Hollywood movies, let's say the Star Wars movies. Traditionally, it took about a year of going on location and recording the actors at the location. Then it took another couple of years for the editing, putting all of the uh, scenes together and the music and the pacing, oh, that part doesn't work, remove it, add this part. So, same thing for us. Um, What's the idea of the video? How do we record it? We'll, we'll have a different discussion on that at another point. Uh, again, we'll probably do this in three parts. So we're going to jump straight over here to editing the video. I'm going to give you a video and I'm going to show you basic video editing um, software. I'm going to show you how, how to edit the video, remove your mistake, add text, put music. That's what we'll focus on today. Then we'll backtrack later to, well, uh, how do I you know, get an idea for my video? Uh, how do I record it? What's a good camera? And all of that. We'll cover that later. I've got a video ready to start with. So the, the idea and the execution, this will be TBD or TBA. We'll, we'll come back to it. Um, the, set, uh, the hardware, the actual recording, the script, the visuals, all of that. That'll be later. We'll talk about today how to uh, shorten the video, how to add music, text, no, the text. prepare it, and all of that. Hmm? Would the text editing, would that be a tool inside of YouTube, or would that be in the editor? It's both, but we're going to focus right now on the editor before we upload it to YouTube. So shorten the video, editing music, uh, removing mistakes, 
padding effects, all of that. So um, there's this documentary that I've got saved in my DVR, um, something about, I think it's called Editing the Movies. And it is about uh, famous directors talking about their editors. Because a, a big Hollywood movie has so many pieces. There was the writer, the screenwriter, uh, the adapter, there was the director, producers, and all of that. And all of these people are talking about, like, really, the brains behind the movie is the editor, which is the person that puts together the movie in the final form. Because the director is going to be recording their actors and getting different shots of the action and thinking of different ideas and putting all of these ideas together. And many movies, they're like three hours long raw footage. Well, they have to cut that down to 90 minutes or whatever amount of time. Um, so the editor is the one that is doing that. It is cutting it and usually not in a bubble. Usually they work with the director. But the editor with the director is cutting it down. We know that you've got four hours of footage, but we've got to release an hour and a half long vi uh, movie in theaters. So what do we cut out? What's too slow? What doesn't make sense? We have to cut it down. Yes? The uh, cameras that used to use film would be either in seven minute or ten and a half minute increments. Yeah, the reels. How does that equate or has it bled over into the digital? They have also, uh, now the limitations of how long you can record is based on basically your memory card. You're recording on uh, your memory card either on a phone or a more higher end device. Well now the limitation of how long can you record at a time is based on that. So in the old days it was the reel that it had X amount of feet of film, seven minutes long. Well now it's about your memory card. That's how long you can record at a time. Okay, so... Um, all of that editing the video um, using software to edit the video we have free here's examples of free software we have iMovie that's on the Mac we have Windows Movie Maker that's on Windows and then we've got Adobe Premiere uh, elements that's on Mac or Windows. Oh, actually, sorry, let me move this down here. Yes, I said sorry, let me move that down here. Not free. Um, but then we've got not free affordable, and then not free expensive. So iMovie and, and Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker, those are those are free. You can download them from the App Store or the website on your device, then there's several not free versions. Um, this one ranges between $79 and $99 one time, one time fee. Uh, then we've got over here Final Cut Pro, um, Adobe Premiere, the regular Premiere, there's Premiere Elements, and then there's Premiere. Uh, Final Cut Pro, what else is there? I think so, yes. Pro, yeah. Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, um, there's a couple of other ones. There's one more famous one, I don't remember. But uh, this is the thing that you can use this, this free software, and it works pretty well as a beginner. It lets you do all of these things that I've mentioned, cutting out your mistakes, adding sound, adding text. Uh, adding your copyright and all of that, it, it works just fine, the free version. Then when you need more power and more effects, you go up over here. Like you want to do green screens or you want to do picture in picture, then you need to go to these higher level ones. This one ranges in that price because normal price is usually $99, but I see deals for, for that all the time. At Fry's, for example, every once in a while, they have Adobe Premiere for $79. I've also seen it at Costco, selling it for $79. This is a one-time fee. Uh, usually these other expensive ones are expensive, hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars. But you get even more features, even more complication. Yes? Where would you put, or would it be in the same area of genre as uh, Camtasia? Where would that fit in here? I haven't used Camtasia very recently. To my knowledge, it lets you record your screen, right? Your screen and your voice. Yeah. And annotate it a little bit. 
It's more of the terms up here of number one, idea and execution. Recording the video. I'm sure they've added more features that let you do editing, but I wouldn't consider it an editor because to my knowledge, it is about recording your screen and your voice and such. I'm not actually opening a pre-made video in Camtasia to do edits unless they've changed that because I haven't used it recently. It's sort of in the vein of this, my screen recorder here. This, this thing that I pop up all the time to record the lectures, this is the same sort of thing. I'm recording everything on screen and my voice and all of that, but it's not being used as an editor to remove my mistakes. I would still, after I record this, I would still load it into uh, iMovie, Movie Maker, or Elements and such. So, using software to edit video, um, these different levels. We've got in this room Windows computers, and therefore we've got Windows Movie Maker to work with. When you go home and try this out, if you've got a Mac, you need to download iMovie from the App Store. If you've got Windows, you need to go to your App Store uh, and, and download it there. Now, the wrinkle in Windows is, okay, well, which version of Windows? Because if you've got Windows 10, you go to your App Store that's in your Start menu, and you get the Movie Editor. If you've got Windows 7 like this one here, you need to go to Microsoft.com and then go find Windows Maker down there and then download it and install it. So you'll be able to do that on your own. I think our presenters are coming, so...